I'm Cody Antle and I'm the real life Tarzan. I was really lucky. I was born into this. My father started the whole thing about 35 years ago with the animals, so I was just one of them born into the litter. I had tigers as my big sisters and brothers, and I had the elephant as my big sister growing up, and it's just been a whole life filled with animals. Hi, you little kid. Cody's my son. He's been my sidekick all this time, and I raised him to be Mowgli, to be a guy that had tiger cubs in his bed, chimpanzees as his best friends, traveling around with our elephant, playing in the woods with her as his babysitter. This is the life that he was raised to. <laughs> Growing up, I realized my life was unique, really, because what I wanted and what other kids wanted was so different. I just always had a deeper connection to animals, and I just wanted to be naked running around with tigers. <laughs> Kids his own age have never been his forte as much as a chimpanzee or an orangutan as a wrestling partner. It's almost more than a brother and sister. Each one of them is almost like your spouse. You're almost married to each one because you have to have this little guy. You have to know what they're doing all the time. You're constantly checking on them, making sure they're fed well and all that stuff. And it's your whole life is seeing how they're doing. And you can make them into this incredible character that they're going to be as they grow up so these guys can be the stars that they really are. Have a great there, big dog. Show us what you do with that. Just a little sip for Bubbles here. Communication with the animals really starts from birth. You kind of just talk to them, and a lot of words kind of stand out very similar to a dog. When you say, come here, you just say, come here every time, and then they know what that means. They understand just like we do, and so you can have this open line of communication with them where they can then freely interact in the world and do stuff with you. Get him. Come here, but give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Through spending thousands of hours together and hanging out with these animals and having them in your homes and exposing them to all sorts of different things, they actually will show you a side of themselves that you didn't even know existed. Some intelligence or some hidden little gem inside of their mind and a connection to our world that really blows your mind. And just a little bit more of a chunky monkey right there. If there is a real life Tarzan, then it is certainly Cody. Cody's the only guy hands-on active that does this kind of work, he may be the only person in the world living like this. My dad's been this character that everybody admired and just saw. We were always just very different in that way. It definitely feels like we're from a different planet when you're around regular people, I would say, you know? Many people don't have that connection to animals or even understand what it is or what it's about, you know? People are definitely missing that and it's all I feel. Come on! Oh, you got me! Oh, you got me. There's nothing else left for me. This is, this is where I am for the rest of my life. This is my temple. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here forever. And I've been doing it since the day I was born, you know. I was, I was born to do this. <laughs> born to be Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs>